I'm Bart Isley with Scrimmage Play Magazine, and we're here today at Prep Football Media Day at Downtown Athletic, and we're sitting down with the Buckingham Knights, a uh, very successful program that's been to the playoffs a number of different years uh, and just has built a reputation for success in the area. Now they move into Division II, uh, where you know they've, they've been for the past few years, but now we've got a very set schedule when it comes to the VHSL. We're going to meet some of these guys from Buckingham. We've got four seniors here today, and we're going to kind of go around the horn, give us your name, position, uh, and uh, your year, and just tell us a little bit about yourself. Will, got... let's hold. Now we'll go. All right. <laughs> I'm Yael Golf from Buckingham High School. Um, I'm a senior. My positions are wide receiver, and I'm a defensive back. Um, I plan on attending college after I graduate. Yeah. Of course. Good deal. All right, Justin, tell us a little bit about you. I'm Justin Ayers. I'm a senior at Buckingham County High School. Uh, I play wide receiver and defensive back. And after high school, I plan on playing football somewhere in college, hopefully. Tevin Harris, class of 2014, Buckingham County High School. I play O-line and D-line, and I plan to further my career in college. Yeah. I'm Demetrius Jones. I'm an offensive line, defensive line, senior at Buckingham County High School, and I hope to continue playing football in college. Yeah. We'll just jump right into it. You, you guys obviously have built a reputation for success uh, over the next few years. Justin, we'll start with you. How excited are you to take on that mantle and and try and continue what Buckingham has put together? I'm very excited. I mean, the, the um, guys that came before us, they pretty much set the example for us, so we need to keep continuing on and doing big things for them. One guy that comes back, you know, that, not here today with us, but – Peanut Johnson, just a tremendous player. How good has he looked already in, in practice? Oh, man. Peanut looks amazing, like always. Mm. Hopefully he'll step up and keep being that guy he's always been. Are, are y'all getting spoiled by how many thousand-yard backs y'all are rolling out down there? I mean, you, you went right from Maurice Taylor to Peanut yeah. and Kyrie. I mean, just a lot of different guys who have been able to tote the rock down there. Are, are, are Do you feel like that's become the identity of Buckingham football? Uh. I kind of said we're kind of a rushing team, but we're going to try to like mix it up a little bit and do some passing and some other things with some other guys that we have this year. You, you'd be a key part of that uh, as you kind of expand the passing game. How much have you developed that chemistry with John Edwards and, and he'll be kind of taking over the quarterback role for Kane? Uh, well, me and John have been working since we were like in youth league, pretty much. So uh, we pretty much know each other like the back of our hands. So hopefully me and him will get together and keep doing the things that we're doing there. Hopefully we'll throw over a thousand yards this year and receive them. Yeah. Tell me that's obviously something, you know, Beatrice, a lot of guys have played together for a long time at Buckingham. Is that part of what creates success for y'all? Yeah, um, chemistry is really important. It helps us all get better. And hopefully this year we'll chemistry be the main thing at our school. Yeah. To, you know, how do you guys cultivate that beyond just that you played together for so long? Do you, are you guys constantly hanging out? together, you know, is that, does that help build those bonds? Oh, yeah, yeah, extremely. With being in the weight room and just working out together, that really brings all of us together. Yeah, El, I got that right, right? Yes, there sir. we go. <laughs> tell, tell me about that, you know, everybody's kind of talking about that chemistry. How, do you feel that this year already? Yes, sir. Like, okay, we, we have mental problems, you know, everybody will have, you know, times where, you know, we're not getting... No, but then we we'll all come together, we play as a team, and we get the job done. Is it is like you said that it, maybe you have mental breakdowns, but you're saying that everybody is sort of pointed towards one goal and continuing to improve. You know how much of a how much of a role have the seniors had to play in making sure that that main you know remains the main goal? Uh, it's it's a very huge role. I mean, we try to with our younger players. You know, we we have coming up in the years. It, It'll be very, you know, it'll be very good. But we we try to keep everybody together. Yeah, keep the team building. There's a lot of guys who have been great senior leaders for you guys over the years. Did they set a great example for you to follow this yes, year? Sir. What guys have really stood out though over the years of being terrific leaders? Mm. Cam Johnson Cam was probably Johnson. all right, right? Cam yeah. Johnson, Cam. Maurice Taylor. Terry's a, a pretty Terrian decent one, I'd say. Anton Bradley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he going by Anton now again, or does he drop the L.A.? Yeah, or he's still L.A. He's still, still L.A. Not just those selective few, but all of them yeah, have really set a good example. Really all of them. 
one place you guys have got to jump in and replace everybody on the line for the most yeah. part. When you look at the line, how quickly have you guys come together? From what I understood, terrific play from some of the younger guys on JV last year. You know, is it coming together already when you we've lost as many guys as you have? Yeah, we've been we've been working like ever since February. Been working to get get everything down, and we've been playing together ever since we were little. So, so we basically got it all. Is it easy to block for a guy like Peanut? Does he make the right read pretty much every time? I mean, you only got to give him a few seconds, but we, we <laughs> try to hold the blocks to the whistle, make sure he got it down. But he's a fun guy to block for, though. There's yeah, no doubt about yeah you never know what he's going to do. Yeah. So. so, you know, is it, you know, as you kind of build a deeper identity, the offensive line has to step in and, and step up when it comes to the passing game. Mm-hmm. Have you guys been working a lot on pass pro and, and, and keeping that as a focus yeah. so that you take some of the pressure off of a guy like Peter? Yeah, we, we've done a lot to work on the passing game, like seven on sevens and working on the pass blocking and all this stuff. And I've been protecting John's blind side ever since I was seven, so. Really? Yeah, so we basically got it. Who made John the quarterback so early that he, he's been the guy? His dad, but <laughs> his dad been working with him, and you know he just. just Is he a guy it. who's ready to take the next step this oh, year? Yeah. yeah, he definitely. He's he very can. determined. Yeah, he's ready to step in and do what he got to do. You know, we, I can say that about him. Yeah. When you look, who are some of the other guys that can step in and make big plays for you this year? As you guys trying to diversify the offense a little bit. Leon Ragland's going to be a big one, of course. Yeah, everybody kind of likes to talk about Leon. <laughs> yeah, he, he's yeah. obviously a guy. Is he? A, he's a fun teammate to be around. Yes, sir. Yeah. What is it about him that he sort of brings to the table dynamically, you know, on the field? Because uh, he can pretty much do it all. If you ask me, I mean, he can block, he can run, he can catch, he can do everything that it takes to play football. He got it down packed. So that's a big standout when it comes to to me looking at a person to play with. We look at the. He, you guys have been able to maintain mostly the same coaching staff for two months, so long as well. Has that helped build the continuity that you're looking at the same thing pretty much every year? Would you say? It, would you agree? Yeah, yeah, I would. yeah, Is it? What is it about this staff that's a really good fit for what you guys do? Mm, I guess for one, they really grow on you. They easy to get along with, you know, and they're real good teachers. They make sure you know what you're doing sure. and all that. Yeah. He's got a little bit of an old school flair, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Coach Gill, he's got a little Coach bit Gill, of old school. Been there for a while. Is it, do you do you feel like you just learn the fundamentals as well as anybody else does in the area? Oh yeah. 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 Awesome. When it comes, is that part of what has made you all so successful, just in front, you know, on the offensive side of the ball? Mm-hmm. Is you've been able to adapt okay. to the personnel? Is that because the coaching staff really just knows it so well? Uh, I think it's because they know it and they teach us what they know. So. We're pretty much learning like from the best yeah. and from people that have actually like experienced everything. Great. Well, just to wrap it up, we're going to talk about you know one element of Buckingham football that you're particularly excited about this year. There's one thing that kind of stands out to you. Go ahead and, and get it started for us. One thing that stands out. Could be another well, shot at Goochland. That might be uh, one thing. Uh, that is of course. <laughs> Down the road, well, we get our stuff together. We're we yeah we win this state ring this year. Yeah. I, I see you coming. Yeah. Go ahead, Justin. Well, I'm not gonna look down the road. I'm gonna focus on the game. Every game, take it day by day. So right now we're just worried about Apple Mags in the first game and stuff. But I hope we get better leadership and things, which we are. We actually have great leadership on this team this year, and I hope we just keep that throughout our minds through this season. Yeah. Yeah, one thing you're kind of pumped up about. One thing I'm pumped up about. <laughs> Let's see. I'm pumped up about every practice, every game, just playing around with these guys and just, you know, get it together and we're going to be successful this year. Demetrius, one thing you're really excited about this year? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's really, a lot to be excited about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, one thing, like, this is my last year at Buckingham, so just really excited about giving it my own, like having fun on the field, off the field, and really just working hard for the win that statement. Yeah, that's what we're Terrific. looking for. Thank you guys so much for coming up. We appreciate it, man. Um, and uh, good luck this season.